Can I? Your, your order. Where the hell is my damn apple juice? Oh, hey, Nick. I didn't know you were home. That's apple juice. Remember Brian Hooks, a.k.a. Nick Delaney? The Laugh Master from the sitcom Eve and a comedy giant. Every film he touched turned to laughter gold. What? It's TiVo. Talk to me. What's wrong? Is your name TiVo? <laughs> Suddenly, Hooks was gone. Poof. From Comedy King to Goose, sparking whispers and wonder, where did Brian Hooks go? Choice or circumstance? You know, and if you're not willing to play that game, and it's a more difficult road to navigate, you know what I mean? But if you have no morals and no beliefs, it's easier. Brace yourself. We're peeling back the layers of Brian Hooks' mysterious departure from Hollywood. And I think it's why you see folks at the top and then they seem so miserable. And it's like, what's wrong with you? You're like, what do you mean he killed himself? What do you mean he has an alcohol problem? Hailing from the sunny streets of Bakersfield, California, Brian Hooks is not your average actor. He's a jack of all trades in the entertainment biz. This dude wears so many hats, you think he's got a hat factory tucked away at his home. Actor? Check. Producer? Check. Writer? You bet. Director? Oh, yeah. And let's not forget his killer stand-up comedy skills. I've been out playing basketball. Now get this. Before Hooks slays the screen, he was crunching numbers at Cal State University, Northridge, studying mathematics. I went to school for math to be a teacher. I love kids. I love youth. My mom's a teacher. Brother's a teacher. Sister's a teacher. And so that was always something I was big on. And so I was going to study in secondary education, teach math. And then again, once I was there, I figured out I was in the epicenter of entertainment. Now from Bakersfield, my entertainment was limited to school talent shows, showing out in the church, getting a whooping when I got home. You know what I mean? So that was the extent of entertaining. But once I got to Cal State Northridge and I LA, figured out in addition to my classes, I can add another one with the theater class, add another one, film class, and then add more outside of school. And uh, that seed began to grow. Can you imagine math? and movies might seem like an odd combo. But hey, big brains equal big dreams. Am I right? But here's where it gets interesting. While still hitting the books, Hooks hustled harder than ever, auditioning left and right for acting gigs. His hustle paid off big time when he snagged his breakout role in the urban classic Fat Beach. Man, big as you is, you can live on your stomach for like two or three weeks. Camels do it. Directed by none other than Doug Elin, the mastermind behind HBO's Entourage. This role puts Hooks on the map and had Hollywood buzzing with excitement. From that moment, Hooks was blazing trails left and right, snagging parts in hit movies like Beloved and Soul Plane. Would you like Moet or Christelle? Uh, the Motet. Eh, mo mo Moet. Not to mention sharing the screen with Austin Powers. Oh my God, it looks like a huge. His journey to stardom was nothing short of spectacular, turning him into Hollywood's latest obsession. And as if his star couldn't shine any brighter, he later landed a role in the sitcom Eve, continuing his unstoppable streak in the spotlight. That was an amazing time. And, you know, and again, like I said before, that was when I was making a ton of money for just like showing up and showing out, bro. And we would go over to that Gower lot and I would put my PlayStation on and I would be playing games and shooting this shit for like, if we were there 10 hours, I'd be shooting this shit for maybe eight and a half of them. And we worked one and a half. So it was an amazing time. And that, I don't think I was comfortable. And again, I should have done more to leverage that exposure towards, you know, my independent and the things I was doing. But I was comfortable and I was growing. It was part of the journey and learning. But Eve hit an amazing time. It was a great three years. For those who need a refresher, Eve was all about Shelley Williams navigating the wild ride of running a fashion biz while juggling the quest for love. It was like a modern day Moesha, but with a fresh twist and a whole lot of sass. Ah, let's talk about the juicy relationship drama that kept us glued to our screens. Shelley and JT's roller coaster romance. Those two lovebirds had a swooning one minute and pulling our hair out the next with their on-again, off-again antics. 
And let's not forget the squad they leaned on for love advice. Shelly always turning to her girlfriends for some real talk about matters of the heart had former model Rita LaFleur and married friend Janie Eggins on speed dial. Because let's face it, who better to dish out relationship advice than your ride-or-die besties? Meanwhile, JT wasn't one to shy away from seeking guidance from his bros. His go-to crew for navigating the treacherous waters of love included nightclub manager Donovan Brink and none other than IRS worker Nick Delaney a.k.a. Brian Hooks himself. Yep, the numbers man. The saga of Eve is one filled with highs and lows, just like a roller coaster ride through Hollywood drama. Critics were split down the middle when it came to their take on the show. Some gave it props for being part of UPN's lineup of black sitcoms, while others weren't excited throwing confetti over it citing a lack of charisma and comparing it unfavorably to other sitcoms. But hey, Eve still managed to snag some nominations, including a nod for the Teen Choice Award for Choice Breakout TV Show in 2004. Not too shabby, right? But then the plot twists of all plot twists, UPN's merger with the WB in 2006. Talk about a game changer. They always build networks with black shows and they get them strong. Like we need a foundation for everything, you know, really. And once they get that role and they just sort of fade it on out and you begin to see, you know, mainstream white show here, white show here. And the next thing you know, we're obsolete. And then they're taking us to another network to build again. So, you know, I'm a businessman as well as an entertainer and artist. So for me, you know, I understand and I get it. And it's not much that shocks and surprises me. So again, UPN was merging with the WB. So I kind of suspect expected that and I think they got rid of pretty much everything except I think it was all of us. Will Smith was the executive producer of that and so he was like ah, 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 we won't be taking away that one. <laughs> Brian Hooks poured his heart and soul into Eve. When you're on a TV show, that's, you know, that's five days a week, uh, maybe, what, nine months out the year. So it really leaves you three months to really fedangle. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of things in film and things like that. You're, you're not available. So you can only imagine the blow it must have been when the news of the show's cancellation hit. After putting in all that blood, sweat, and tears, only to have it end so abruptly. Talk about a gut punch. For Hooks, who poured his talent and energy into bringing Nick Delaney to life on screen, it must have felt like losing a part of himself. But hey, that's the nature of the biz, right? One minute you're riding high on success, and the next you're left with picking up the pieces. But Brian says he was not very pissed and was just chill about the whole thing. And let me tell you, that cancellation didn't sit right with a lot of folks. It was like losing a piece of our TV-loving souls. I mean, come on. Who didn't want answers to all those burning questions left hanging in the air? Did Janie and the crew end up behind bars for their shady Botox business? Did Shelly patch things up with her folks? Did Diva Style finally get busted by the cops? And what about JT and Shelly's epic love story? Did they ever find their way back to each other? Ugh! The suspense is killing me. But alas, it seems like we'll never get the closure we crave. It's like the ultimate cliffhanger, leaving us hanging on the edge of our seats with no resolution in sight. Well, the plot thickens. Brian eventually left the entertainment scene, but it seems like there was more to his departure from Hollywood than what meets the eye. According to the man himself, he just wasn't feeling the vibes of the industry anymore. And who can blame him? Hollywood is different and it's cliquish and it's about who you know and sometimes what you're willing to do. You know, and if you're not willing to play that game and it's a more difficult road to navigate, you know what I mean? But if you have no morals and no beliefs, it's easier. If you're willing to pretend to be whatever, you know, whomever wants you pretend to be. I was never willing to do that. And so with that, I was never in a lot of the groups, the cliques, the this, you know, and I think it's why you see, you know, folks at the top and then they seem so miserable. And it's like, what's wrong with you? You're like, what do you mean he killed himself? What do you mean he has an alcohol problem? Right. It's, right. it's because they're not happy. Because when you when you get there the wrong way, 
you know, you can't play hide and seek with yourself. And so when you look in the mirror, you know, that your success reminds you of that because your success was a result of some of the compromises you were willing to make. You see some of these entertainers at the top and you're like, damn, what's wrong with them? They have everything. Yeah. yeah. It's because that soul and that spirit ain't right. And if Hooks wasn't feeling comfortable in that environment, then it's no surprise he decided to step away. But hey, let's not pretend like this is the first time we've heard whispers of the dark side of Hollywood. From scandalous rumors to downright shocking revelations, the industry has seen its fair share of drama over the years. And maybe, just maybe, Hook's decision to bow out is just another chapter in that ongoing saga. For now, though, let's leave it at that and keep our eyes peeled for any more twists and turns in this Hollywood tale. After all, you never know what secrets lurk behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. When it comes to measuring success, Brian Hooks, now 50 years old, with a net worth of $1.5 million. He isn't just about box office numbers and red carpet moments. He's all about making a real difference in the world. He has a new movie out called Adam and Eve. But no rush or anything like that, no timetable on it, just I'm just putting it in my head. But let me tell you, his proudest achievement isn't some Hollywood accolade. It's something way more meaningful. Enter Left of Bang Entertainment, the philanthropic brainchild of Hooks Production Company. Be Hooks Production. Back in 2018, Hooks had a major epiphany. He realized that his life's purpose went beyond making movies and cracking jokes. Inspired by Steve Jobs' legendary words, he knew he had to step up and make a positive impact on the world. Q, the birth of Left of Bang Entertainment, a game-changing nonprofit with a mission to shake up the film industry and uplift inner-city youth. Drawing on his own experiences and recognizing the lack of positive outlets for young people in underserved communities, Hooks sets out to change the narrative. Left of Bang Entertainment offers these kids a whole new path, one that leads to creativity, empowerment, and opportunity. Inner city youth who might otherwise be struck in a cycle of violence and negativity are now stepping onto movie sets, rubbing shoulders with A-list celebrities, and getting first-hand experience in the filmmaking process. It's not just about making movies. It's about giving these kids a chance to dream big and reach for the stars. Hook's passion for empowering young adults shines through in every aspect of Left of Bang Entertainment. By providing free educational programs and mentorship opportunities, he's not just changing lives, he's shaping futures. You know, I've decided that everything I do moving forward has to have a positive social impact. No longer will I be out here doing stuff just for me. And that, my friends, is the true measure of a Hollywood hero. Hats off to you, Brian Hooks, and thank you for making us drunk with laughter every single time. Brian Hooks, please share with us in the comments down below.